Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Governor, Jared Polis, the Adjutant General of the Colorado National Guard, Brigadier General Laura Clellan, and the nearly 5,500 citizen soldiers and airmen of the Colorado National Guard, thank you for having me here today to honor our fallen Colorado service members. I cannot express how grateful and honored I am to be here today, especially in the presence of our Gold Star families. These Gold Star families lost their loved one, but the day after, they still had families to raise, houses to maintain, lives to live, all without their loved one by their side. Their loss is a reminder of their sacrifice and service that their loved one made for this country. So it is for them, for the loved ones that they have lost, for the friends and comrades in arms, which we come together today to honor all who served and died. On Memorial Day, we honor all of the fallen. We honor those who died in combat, those who died in non-combat missions and operations. We remember also those who took their own life because those invisible wounds were just too painful. All of them at one time stepped forward and took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. A majority of Americans have never served in the military and they don't have any family members that have served. We hope these families will understand the true meaning of Memorial Day. It's not just another holiday to mark the end of, of winter and the beginning of summer. Just as my family and all of you are here today, it is to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. It is with great sorrow that we remember the losses we've endured in order to secure the liberties and freedoms we so often take for granted. Those brave men and women gave up their future so that we could enjoy ours here today. The debt we owe them can never be repaid, so what we must never forget. We remember and we honor their service. We remember and we honor their sacrifice. We remember and we say thank you. Currently, we have young men and women who are service, serving and sacrificing. In fact, right now, we have approximately 400 members of your Colorado Army and Air National Guard serving overseas, and approximately another 200 serving right here in Colorado communities, conducting numerous domestic operations to include the fight against COVID, all putting their lives on the line for freedom while conquering fear and delivering hope which the Colorado National Guard has been doing since 1860. Today, I especially want to recognize my fellow Colorado Guardsmen who were killed in the war in terror. Sergeant First Class Daniel Romero, Afghanistan. Sergeant Luis Reyes, Kuwait. Sergeant John Stiles, Afghanistan. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Dave Carter, Afghanistan. And Staff Sergeant Liam Nevins, Afghanistan. These heroes were your Colorado friends and neighbors. They answered the call to serve here in our state, in our nation, and around the world. A debt we can never repay so we must never forget. In closing, I ask one more thing of our veterans and their families. I want you to all go out 
and share your stories. Your stories that cultivated that spirit of adventure, patriotism, and service in our young people. You might even find it therapeutic. For those young Americans are our future, and we owe it to those memorialized around us Today we remember, today we remember that these veterans gave up their futures. They had friendships that had been formed that would never be broken. They had the opportunity to defend a way of life that is envied throughout the world. Today we remember, and again, I thank our veterans, the Gold Star families, all of you here today for attending this Memorial Day service at the Colorado Freedom Memorial. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And in the words of Roy Rogers, happy trails to you until we meet again. God bless.